This is your host, Foodie Beauty. Oh my gosh, everyone's talking about Amberlynn's breakup? Is this video for sailing and entertainment purposes only? You're dang skippy it is. Here's Ramona. Noted. Guys, do you know Foodie Beauty? Why are you walking away so fast? You're walking in uniform. Bling, bling. <laughs> Kaboom. What's wrong with Karina Kaboom? She's a nice lady. <laughs> You're kidding, right? Stay mad. Hello, everybody. It's me. So in today's video, we are going to be taking a look at Becky's new community page post, as well as Amber and Reed's last two videos. Amber is trying to convince us she's a good person. Stay mad. And well, I'm going to tell you this. Usually I've never heard of a good person trying to convince people that they are one. Also, Amberlynn has magically, magically has gotten bed again. And remember when I told you that she was lying about not having it because the WLS arc told her that if she has it, she couldn't get WLS. And now that WLS is off the table, rinse, la, the Kermit, repeat. I feel like a girl of 2021 again. Amberlynn, never change girl. Entertaining, riveting YouTuber. Anyways, so we're going to get into Becky's very, very serious post and Amber's ridiculous videos. <laughs> It's just another day, girls. Grab your Kermits. All right, so if you could not tell already by my ridiculous intro. So as always, everything I'm saying is just for entertainment purposes only, not meant to be taken seriously. I'm sharing opinions and not facts about publicly accessible information made public by public figures. First, I would urge you to please, if you can, be kind in the comments section. Please do not go to these people's channels and leave them mean-spirited, negative, discouraging, disparaging comments. Okay, so here is Becky's new community page post. I've gotten a few messages about a fundraiser that was started for me and a few people have sent me Venmos and though I need it, I make $11 an hour, six days a week, and I still can't pay all of my bills. I mean, I'm struggling, but I'm scared to accept y'all's help because I don't want it to be like last time I asked for help. She's talking about the car situation type deal. I'm, and the GoFundMe. I'm dealing with so much on top of possible thyroid cancer. I feel like the earth is just falling out from beneath me. I appreciate everyone who has reached out to me with help. I really do. I'm just afraid to accept help. Don't be afraid to accept help. You're in a difficult situation and you took care of somebody that uh, for years that literally took away and stole your money that you were owed from live streams. The reason that this matters is because it was thousands of dollars and maybe Becky wouldn't have had this money at this point, but you were promised, you worked, you were promised money, you worked for it and the money was literally taken from you by somebody who honestly should have been sued because she didn't pay you for the job that you did. Okay, now, this is obviously very heartbreaking news. Becky, I really, really, really hope that you do not have thyroid cancer. Uh, I really hope it's just a scare. I, what can I say? I mean, it's terrible, obviously. And I wish you all the best health-wise and in general. And I hope you don't have it, okay? I hope you don't have it. Um, she's making money that she's saying that she cannot pay all of her bills with. So this is what I believe. I believe that the majority of the community that supports you, Becky, will help you. They understand that Amber Lynn took your money that she owed you for the live streams. And I, you know, I understand that. And I think we all understand how much you've done for Amber Lynn. And now you're struggling and the majority of the community feels for you and would help you. And look, there's this top comment here that says this girl, that fundraiser was made in total reservation precisely to let you know that there's no strings attached. Nobody will ask you explanations or anything in exchange. People just want to help you make you feel appreciated and loved. I really wish you all the best that you can recover from your health issues. Really hope it's just a scare. Nothing really serious for real, uh, from your mind and your heart. You are a strong person more than you know, and you can be an inspiration to all of us that have suffered under narcissist ABU. We're going to we're going to get to that in a minute. I know you had bad experiences with fundraisers before. Yes, there was a huge, go, go, you know, GoFundMe drama. Okay, this is different if you're suffering with potentially cancer. And she is working every day, almost every day. 
and she just doesn't have enough money for it. There's a question that I have. Do you even have insurance, Becky? It's possible she doesn't. I don't want to put words into her mouth, but if she doesn't have insurance, how will you fare with that? But I promise you this is different. Accept it. It's all in good spirit and well meant. Nobody needs to know because it won't be public. If it is known now, it's just because you mentioned that, but you don't need to give more details or specifics because nobody from the people who raised it for you will. Just take care of yourself. We got your back. Yeah, I mean, I had no idea that there was a fundraiser going on until Becky mentioned it either. Okay. So, Becky, I want you to be okay. The majority of the community, and I do mean the majority, not everyone, but the majority of the community supports you, and whoever is able to donate would. I just wanted to say, to be fair to the situation, because I am a public Kermit. Oh, I'm sorry. I meant public figure. That's right. There's no proof that I'm a frog, people. Uh, I have to be fair to the situation. What I've seen written about this is that some people are just wondering why Becky, who has a lot of subscribers on YouTube, um, doesn't want to expose Anne Boleyn for a bunch of videos. Now, here's the thing. And to be fair, I'm just saying this to be fair. First of all, Becky has expressed severe interest in exposing Anne Boleyn in numerous community page posts. Anne Boleyn, if you don't know, I have a lot of videos on this, has been threatening Becky with the law, whatever that means. Go sue my Kermit. Um, you know, saying that she's going to pretty much get the law involved, sue Becky if Becky ever dares say anything about Anne Boleyn. Oh, please. Um, so Becky has definitely expressed massive interest in exposing Anne Boleyn. And she was saying, you know, she's pushing me to expose her, blah, blah, blah. And people are saying, you know, you're going to make a lot of money by doing expose videos. Why don't you just do that? And then other people are saying, you know, Becky has suffered so much. She's healing from what Amber did to her. I agree with all of that. And I can see everybody's points, you know, uh, I, my opinion on that is that if Becky wants to expose Anne Boleyn, which she has said, <laughs> recently that she did. Of course, I'm totally sensitive to the fact that Becky has suffered a lot of trauma with Anne Boleyn, so therefore she may not want to expose her, even though she has said differently. And she was thinking about it, maybe. Uh, you know, yes, Becky, you would make a lot of super chats if you went live, and your videos, I think, would get a lot of views. Uh, look at Destiny did well, and I think that people have different feelings towards Destiny and Becky. There's this overwhelming sense in the community that... Becky was the long-suffering, pretty much caretaker of Anne Boleyn, who literally got her money stolen from her and taken away from her because she says she didn't see a dime of the live stream money where Anne Boleyn publicly hired her in front of us and privately and promised her half of the money. And, uh, you know, Becky didn't get that because Amber Boleyn needed to pay a Netflix bill. Pathetic. <laughs> if you believe that, I have a Kermit to sell you and a large bridge of them. But anyways, so... Uh, definitely, you know, Becky, if you want to make some content on YouTube, you will earn a lot of money. Now, the problem here is, are we talking about medical bills? Because if we are talking about medical bills, uh, you can, listen, don't get me wrong. You can earn quite a bit, uh, quite a bit of money on YouTube. I don't know if she'd be able to earn enough on YouTube in a short amount of time for medical bills. I mean, you know, so I think she could do whatever she wants. It's up to her. I've said it from day one. I want to be clear about this. If Becky does not feel comfortable with exposing Anne Boleyn, she shouldn't. That's why when she was talking about exposing Anne Boleyn, you know, sometimes uh, people come here. It, it's rare at this point, but once in a blue Kermit, they come here and they're like, oh, well, you know, Karina just wants Becky to expose Anne Boleyn for the video. Let me just make it clear because I've said it every single time. I don't care whether or not she exposes her. I'll still have content without the expose and it's just a few videos and then they end. And I want you to understand that from a drama person's perspective because I don't care either way. I'll do other videos, you know. Um, I've said from day one that Becky needs to do what is best for her. If you want to expose Anne Boleyn, go right ahead. But if you don't feel that's best for your mental health, which I totally understand it may not be, then don't. I've always said from day one, yes, the community wants you to expose her. Fine, that's the truth. But do whatever it is that you feel comfortable with, Becky. And obviously, since Becky is dealing with a lot right now, she may not want all the drama. And I just want to say this. At the end of the day, if she really wanted to expose her by now, she would. So I think the health conditions that she's dealing with, she doesn't know what's going on. You know, she's earning very little money. She's stressed out. She's on her own. I totally understand that, Becky. And you don't have to expose anyone if it's not best for you. So that's a really heartbreaking post from Becky. I really hope you don't have cancer. This is pretty much all I could say. Uh, I hope it works out for you. And I'm pretty sure that the community would donate to you because they care about you and love you. And I wish you all the best, Becky. Okay, let's move on to that... Um, 
person we just mentioned five minutes ago, Anne Boleyn Reed, Queen of the World, and her new YouTube videos. Okay, so let's talk about Anne Boleyn's new first video. So it's a full day of eating, and uh, I find it preposterous that this woman is allowed to write everything off on her taxes. This is my personal opinion, what I think and how I feel. The reason that she is showing you all of that unhealthy food that she's ordering, and I'm not judging her food or any of that because I don't care what she does and I don't, you eat what you want, it doesn't matter to me. But the reason that she's showing this to you, knowing that she'll get backlash for it, is so that she can write it off on her taxes. That's why she always says, oh, it's a taste test. Oh, let's see how this is to try to pretend that she's a food reviewer situation type deal. Every single time she shows you anything, that's why she's showing you Legos, her buying Legos, the pens that she buys in her videos. Every single thing she purchases, she shows on her channel in order to write it up on your taxes. Are you allowed to do this? No, because I'm pretty sure that you would be eating whether or not you would be having that YouTube channel. I'm pretty sure you'd be buying pens to write with whether or not you had a YouTube channel. You've been exposed on YouTube. I understand you're lost, you feel confused, you're thinking, where's my nut? <laughs> what she's doing is not allowed, but she continues to do it. Like I said in my other video, that's why she was obsessed with keeping her accountant. So good for you, Amberlynn. So just if you're ever wondering why does she continuously show me all this food, it's because, see, think about it. Why would somebody continuously show you things that she knows she's going to get backlash for unless there was something in it for her, right? She's, the whole thing is right off for her taxes. Who makes a video showing every single thing that they eat when they get such backlash for it? A person that's desperate to write it off on her taxes. The only other relevant portion of her video is in the beginning where she says she thanks people for supporting her on her journey to another wifey, whatever. Uh, and she's like, thank you for helping me out with the breakup, for being kind to me. And that was a good moment. See, if she had just left it at that, or, sh or shall I say moment, you know, like that was a good moment, you know, fine. You thanked your supporters. Good. Okay, great. But she immediately needed to thank the real supporters who are the haters. Never forget that the haters are the real supporters. Those are the people that are letting you order all that stuff and buy yourself 700 pens and, you know, buy 700 more purses, whatever. Because it's the people that continue to tune in, which are not your supporters, the haters that, you know, are really making the money. So then she's like, oh, you know, I know that the majority of people watching me, I have a huge, people, a huge amount of people watching me that don't like me. Thank you, Captain Obvious. Who cares? Why are you? Like, this is what is wild to me. Okay, a while back, she had gotten a lot of support um, from a bunch of people after some videos were made about her. And she, she thanked them once and she never acknowledged them in the comments and just ignored them. Do you know why? Why she's bringing up the haters again? Because those are not only the true supporters, but those are the people that she really cares about. My opinion, never make a mistake about it. She really cares about the haters. That's why she, think about it, she's thanking people for supporting her throughout her fake breakup, whatever, and then she immediately has to start talking about people that are not supporting her. That doesn't make any sense. Why don't you just focus on the positive instead of the negative? Because it's the negative that she enjoys, gets money from, and wants to celebrate. That's my opinion. She then decides to say i'm not a bad person though i've made bad choices people are starting to to open their eyes someone who has been threatening her ex-girlfriend and her ex-girlfriend potentially has cancer and you're threatening her with the law that doesn't make you a good person somebody who has a b u s e you know what i'm trying to say multiple girlfriends on camera including becky is not a good person and i want to tell you something in general i would say you know what? I understand people make bad choices and I would give her the benefit of the doubt. Also, in general, I would say no one knows YouTubers because, you know, you just see an edited piece of work for like 20 minutes a day. You don't know people personally. But in this case, it's specific because um, she has let us know how she treats people. So all I have to say is, uh, you know what? Like I said, I've never seen a good person let us know or like an honest person let us know that they're honest and good. Usually a good person shows you that they're good and you just understand their character by their actions. So Anne Boleyn, I'm going to tell you this. Your actions is what make up your character and everybody knows what your character is. The fact that she even has to tell everybody that she's a good person is incredibly disingenuous and strange because it's not up to you to decide what kind of person that you are. It's up to the people that are on the receiving end of your ABU as, you know, like 
The whole situation with Becky. Did Amberlynn know that Becky is potentially facing thyroid cancer? Is it an issue that has come up before? Now, she may not have known, but it's wrong to threaten your ex who has done everything for you with the law if she dare speaks out when you've been speaking out against her for years now. But especially if Amber did know that, you know, Becky's potentially sick. So you're a good person. Wonderful. Okay, let's talk about Amber's second video. She basically reintroduces the idea that she's all about B-I-N-G-E, right? Okay. Um, she basically says she now doesn't know. Oh, how convenient. How convenient. You no longer know if you have bed or not because you see... She's trying to reintroduce it so she can continue to monetize it. Honestly, your channel needs to be demonetized. Uh, you are not allowed, like you and Foodie Booty, to glorify and to really make money off of EDs, and you are, for now. YouTube just recently changed their policies. But here's like the really big part where she lied. I think everybody here knew that when she started saying that she no longer has bed, which she was diagnosed with many times, and, you know, she constantly talked about having it, made videos about it, showed herself doing it. And then when she was trying to get weight loss surgery, like the doctor said, if you have this, you cannot get weight loss surgery. So, you know, for her, it's as easy to lie as it is to, you know, turn on the lights or turn off the lights. Show her she's living the life. She lied and made up a story that she doesn't have it. Now that WLS is off the table, she very sneakily, is that a real word, sneakily? She's sneaky. She's trying to bring it back up so that she um, can monetize it, so she could talk about it, so she could say, see, this is why I'm having a problem. Uh, this is really, really, I don't think YouTube should monetize content about EDs. Um, I think that honestly, the way that you were reported on TikTok and your stuff got taken down, that's because TikTok actually follows rules. Uh, that's what happened to her on TikTok. I just don't understand how you can so easily lie continuously. And it's really because the audience at this point, I believe, doesn't have a feeling towards it. Whoa. Monsters, 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 monsters. <laughs> <laughs> monsters are coming in so basically what happened is when the wls team said to her that if she has bed she can't get it she made up a lie and said that she didn't have it in order to get wls and now that she's no longer wanting to get wls she magically has it again that's not the way it works and lying like this is just really i mean what do you expect i guess the person lied about her partner for over two years it's just a shame you guys didn't get married and she dumped you and you know nobody you know could have gotten the marriage license because that would have been amazing but it's okay she'll lie about the new person to lie like that to pretend that you no longer had bed that you weren't doing this and now that you're not getting wls you're back at it pretending that you have it uh or not pretending at this point i'm gonna say this i don't know what's true and what's not I, at this point, follow this rule. Whatever she says, I don't believe so. But I see what you did there. I, the whole entire audience sees what you did there. You literally are no longer getting WLS. So now you can go back to having it. Uh -huh. It doesn't work that way. You either have it or not. And I guarantee you next year when she starts talking about getting WLS again, she again is going to magically no longer have something she was, you know, unbelievable. Okay. The end of the video is interesting. So I just want to, before we get to the end of the video, I just want to show you something. Amberlynn Reed has been doing, as I already said, full days of eating. She joined Weight Watchers, which I don't judge, I don't care about. This is about the amount of lies involved, okay? So as I said, the first video that she posted after the breakup drama was just to write all the food off. But I'm sure you all saw what she was actually eating. This next part is important, okay? It's not about the food for me. It's about the lying. She showed a lot of foods that she was eating, which was unhealthy. Just keep that in mind. All her thumbnails are, again, food. Okay. So she actually has enough audacity to again complain at the end of the second video that she got hundreds of bo uh, boxes of sweet cakes and little Debbies. So my opinion on this is as follows. Number one, I think anyone spending even a dollar on her is um, making a mistake. I don't think she deserves it. 
I think that a person that has sent her supporters had a scandal about getting uh, gourmet bread and uh, like a pie, sent her supporters to H-E-L-L with the former president and said, oh, well, you know, like, how dare you send me this uh, while eating unhealthy foods every day and showcasing them and monetizing it so she could write it off on her taxes. I think it's wild that people still send it to her. I think people are sending it to her have to troll, but also, okay, I don't feel bad for her for getting food. I don't think anyone should spend money on her, but since they are, uh, how exactly, this is what I'm trying to understand. How exactly can Amber sit there on her channel? Now, yes, she's not having the same reaction she had during the scandal, but how exactly can you sit there and complain that you're getting a hundred boxes of sweet cakes when you're literally Uber eats, when you're literally like ordering all this unhealthy food showcasing it on your channel all day and writing it off on your taxes like the audacity to say i'm allowed to order unhealthy foods all day my channel her channel is about food which is why she's getting sent hundreds of um you know pies and cakes so you deserve that because you're showing your audience that your channel is about food it's convenient for her when her views are low there's no difference. All your thumbnails are about food. Every single uh, day you're showing off your unhealthy food purchases, which is fine because this is what you choose to monetize. I mean, certain things are against the TOS and your channel should be demonetized because of that. But, you know, like as far as you receiving food, you're receiving food for a better part of it because your channel is about food. I've talked about this before. If I had a bunch of Kermits on my channel, I opened up a PO box. People send you the theme of your channel. The theme of Amberlynn's channel is food. I was 100% sure that she had a food channel and you will continue to receive food because you are only keeping your PO box open to continue to get free presents, even though you should be closing it now because you're moving. And also uh, your channel is about food. This is my general opinion and I'll let you go. If it is that she is showing you ordering multiple meals a day that are unhealthy, that she says are unhealthy, and she's showing massive eating all day long in her channel, on her channel, there's nothing wrong with people sending her food because that's what her channel is about. And it's amazing to me that it's okay for you to participate in this behavior, eat a whole bunch of, you know, whatever you're eating, which I don't care about. I'm not judging that. But in comparison to you going off on people, to you trashing people, oh, I have to screen my boxes. Why? They're only doing what you're doing at home. So it's just unbelievable to me that she still tries to portray herself as some type of victim for receiving, you know, cakes to her home when she's doing that all day long and monetizing that that's what they're doing is no different than what you're doing. Unbelievable. All the thumbnails are about food and she's showing unhealthy choices, but they're wrong. No, you're wrong. Anyways, that's all I had to say. Those are my reactions to her videos. I wish everybody mentioned, including Amber, all the best. Thank you so very much for watching. I really appreciate you being here. Thoughts, comments, questions, leave it in the comments down below. I'm going to link a video on a similar topic right here. Go ahead and check that out. And I will see you next time. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. Hi, you were waiting for me? Do you watch Amberlynn Reed and Foodie Beauty? Don't be embarrassed. Don't be ashamed. I know you cats have watch parties. What's going on? I love your paws. You're a very dapper gentleman. Are you upset that I mentioned Hootie Beauty's name?